All right, so Alistair is up next to be reviewed, so I'm pretty excited to get him because he is the third male doll for Ever After High, and they have been lacking male dolls in the collection, so it's pretty exciting to get him. I really hope they do Daring and Hopper soon. Um, yeah, because they have been in the show since the beginning, and I don't know why they're not doing them. Also the same to Melody. So we're gonna take a look at his box first. So his box color theme is dark blue. I like it because blue is my favorite color in the world. So here's his book mark and his background is a piece of map and a little book with kitty cheshire's cheshire cat icon there again also the queen of hearts card is there oh and um, the mad hatter's head is there so he's representing all the others wonderlandians and it says son of ellis Alistair wonderland and his little icon is a book and then it has a queen of hearts card and the little stopwatch from bunny's box so, and here is the back of his box so you can pause and read it if you'd like for his little um q a session and here's his complete profile art and his best friends till the end are all the wonderlands and maddie and bunny and they're promoting kitty rosabella and bunny blanc right here then oh i noticed that they added the youtube facebook and instagram icons here instead of just a little computer to go to everhaftry.com, so that's pretty nice. Yep, so I guess that's it for the box, and right now I'm gonna take him out so we can get a better look. I did not fart, that was that sound. So we have Mr. Alistair here out of the box, and, and as I've said in my previous review, his uh, bookmarks are not easier to take out because they're just slight in there and they give you plenty of space to cut them up. So of course he comes with his bookmark, uh, um, his charm is a little blue compass with a gold chain on it, I really like it. And here is the doll himself, so he is very good looking, he looks really charming, though he is not a charming, <laughs> if you get the joke. So his hair is of course gel because boys' hair are mostly gel to keep them in shape. I understand. I'll just wash it off later because <laughs> I hate it. And um, it has a beautiful shade of golden blonde, which is really nice. Look at how it shines in the light. And he had these piercing blue eyes, a great smile, and, and I'm not sure if he has a unique face mold or not. He does look kind of similar to Dexter's face mold, but... I could be wrong, he could have a different face mold, just similar maybe. And moving on to his outfit, so he is wearing this jacket, uh, which looks really nice. It's kind of blue, but the swirls are like kind of greenish teal color to it, and has lots of teapots, um, like spades from the card game, uh, lots of swirlish thingies all over his shirt. And his jacket opens up at the back with Velcro, so I think it's easier to uh, put on and off. Anyway, it looks really great. It has a little bit of a gold trim here with gold threads. And this one is folded up. You can fold it down because it's stitched. And it has more golden threads here. And underneath, she, he has a simple um, yellowish, pale yellow shirt, which is kind of a disappointment because in the webisode or in Spring Unsprung, his shirt was really detailed with lots of matte prints and it uh, has a V-shaped neck that I really liked. So maybe I could uh, customize it later maybe and of course his accessories include this canteen which is like a water bottle for explorers and has a little chain of a compass on its side which is supposed to be gold but to, now it's just brown together with the rest of the canteen so I could just paint it later and I think this chain is supposed to be the usual chains that the other boys had in their pants like Dexter had a little something and then also Hunter had a little something dangling in their pants so this is a great alternative for that and he has simple brown pants and then topped with a knee-high explorer dark brown boots with buckle details here and overall it's really nicely detailed for a boy doll usually they don't give much attention to boys and of course he has the same articulation point as the girls with the bonus of being a um, ankle articulation as well so to wrap up my review, I would give Alistair, again, a 4 out of 5. The only downsides being that his shirt being a little bit toned down without the patterns and without the V-shaped neckline, and of course he's missing his necklace as well. But other than that, he is really fantastic. So I guess that's it for my review on the Ever After High Alistair Wonderland doll. So thank you so much for watching. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please thumbs up and subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram at DisneyBoy21 for more photos. But right now, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all soon in my next video. And of course, these two are going to have some nice time chatting once because they're finally out of the box. So gonna give them some privacy so <laughs> bye i'll see you next time when i review darling